my name is Ramsey. Welcome back to the Slay the Spire series, the modded series in particular. Uh, the Guardian running with Infinite Spire alongside, as well as in Ascension 5. Elites spawn more often, normal enemies are deadlier, elites are deadlier, bustles are deadlier, and heal less after boss battles. Heal less after boss battles. Heal less after boss battles. Dang. Random common relic. No, I'm gonna trade for the boss. Ooh. Alright, let's go strike, defend. Defend? Yeah. We got a pre upgraded poly beam, a pre upgraded prismatic beam, and a stasis field. Well, that's pretty obvious. Obviously, we want a strength build for the multiple hits, and obviously, we've already got a couple beams, so let's go with that. Let's roll with what we've been offered. Rather than trying to fight against it. So I know that the curl up, by the way, because uh, this has been commented upon before. Let me just actually turn this down a little bit on my side. I know that the curl up reduces the damage that I deal from then on out. However, every time you play a card whilst you're already curled up, that is to say in defensive mode, uh, every time you play a card while you're in defensive mode, it gets a 8, 10, beautiful. Uh, you get two extra block. So sometimes I'll use that just to get the extra block. Oh, right, of course, sorry. Turn the chat integration off because I'm not streaming at the moment. That said, uh, whenever this video has gone live, in four hours, I will be streaming live on twitch.tv slash plays. Come check us out. It's a good time. I don't think any of these I actually want to take, but Prismatic Beam just doing multiple hits is really important. So taking gems just to socket them is really important. Uh, let's probably obtain a random relic or a calcium if you only just turn without block, gain six block. Not bad. <laughs> There's a prismatic barrier as well. Another thing we're going to fill with gems. I feel like I take that. There's also the modded relic here, the guardian mod relic. When you use a card in defense mode, gain one more block from bronze armor plate. Add a socket to any socketed card. That's really interesting on Prismatic Beam. 16 damage for... No, 16. It becomes 20 damage and 4 effects. Ridiculous. Oh, but that Curse of Pain. No, I'm going to add... I'm going to add, add, add another socket there. I think that's actually going to be really cool. Now all I've got to do is find something to put in those sockets and we're going to have a grand old time. Oh my god. I cannot believe that those hit all the same target. Much appreciated though, game. Much appreciated. We'll just leave the Oracalcum to get that for us. Lovely. Another Aquamarine? Sure, we'll, we'll start by stacking up on wards and see if that actually helps us. I suspect the ward stacking build isn't going to be that great to us, but maybe. Alright. Fill up Stasis Aquamarine. Use that. Alright, that was a severe overblock there. Probably didn't need to use the Stasis Field. Probably could have gone with an attack instead. That said, playing the stasis field is really important there, just so that I have the block coming back in a couple turns time. As it actually is pretty important here. Beautiful. Another aquamarine. Ugh, it sucks, but it's okay, I guess. It sucks, but it'll be fine, is what I mean. So we'll attack curl up stasis field here just to get the curl up damage and throw the stasis field back up. Having relatively consistent block is incredible here. Speaking of relatively consistent block, we shouldn't be blocking unless we can block more than six because of the Oracalcum, uh, which is a mistake I've been constantly making here. Glad to recognize it and start moving away from it though. Oh god. 
I'm not going to get lethal next turn, so I hope I get defense. Never mind, I got lethal with the three most damaging cards in my deck. Ancient T set, whenever you enter a rest site, start the next combat with two extra energy, as well as Amethyst. Just take it. It's another gem. It's exactly what we need. All right, Aquamarine. Like, I could put all of these in the Prismatic Barrier, and that's actually really, like, interesting, because then the Prismatic Barrier is a ridiculous amount of defense just stacked on itself. But I think maybe I just want to make, like, a bunch of cards that are broadly valuable. Like, Prismatic Beam does a bunch of damage, but it also does a bunch of defense. This fight is a bit... though. Okay. Finally, we get to our Prismatic Beam. It's the most beautiful goddamn card in our deck. Add a shift to your hand? Don't mind if I... Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. I just saw it, I just saw it. You just saw it, we just saw it. We both just saw it. Stasis Engine. For every third zero-cost card you played, gain an energy and draw a card. Uh, all of the wards are zero-cost, and if I just put in my sockets wards and shivs, then Stasis Engine will go off constantly. Toxic Egg. Whenever you add a skill card to your deck, upgrade it. Neat. Very neat. Oh, Prismatic Beam is so powerfully defensive. Unexpectedly powerfully defensive in a great way. Uh, I'm a little hesitant to take the Ruby. Putting Rubies in a Prismatic Barrier is really good, though, so you have defensive stuff that's triggered. You want your defensive cards to have bonuses that they confer to aggressive cards and vice versa so that you can cycle between them rather than playing an aggressive card that benefits your strength after that aggressive card is played. Uh, okay, Prismatic Barrier. Extra Smith. I mean, this becoming a Nate in this relatively thin of a deck isn't that big. Swin Slam so that I have the extra socket space. Matryoshka, the next Nombos chest you open contain two relics, as well as Apotheosis, pre-upgraded. Do I take it? A Prismatic Beam that enters us into defensive mode is actually so powerful as a finisher. It's just the Apotheosis upgrades so few cards in this deck at this point, and I'm mainly going to be taking gems to socket into the cards that we've already upgraded. And also, I'm incentivized to upgrade those cards outside of combat, because typically their upgrades are having extra gem slots. So the in-combat upgrade of an Apotheosis doesn't necessarily benefit us there. So I think I take maybe this Emerald on Prismatic Beam. Oh no, I'm putting the Sapphire in there already. So I don't take the Emerald there. Emeralds may be on Stasis Field then. Or Twin Slam or Polybeam. Yeah, it definitely goes on one of them. I'm going to take the trip just because we had the Stasis Engine, so it's at least a third of a card drawn as well. Uh, and then we'll cut a strike just for the consistency of the deck. Okay. That works out fine. <clears throat> we get one of them down. No one's winding up for a big attack here, so... Ultimately, we'll all be okay. It's fine. It's all fine. So we're one more zero cost away from a draw. Not a great zero cost to have gotten, I'll admit. 
That's okay, though. This mad gremlin really should not pose much of a threat to us. And immediately doesn't. Polybeam, charge core, and armored core. No, thank you. Definitely enhance. Definitely put the defensive mode in. Definitely the prismatic beam. And then the emerald into... Polybeam. Upgrading curl up to get an extra socket is also pretty useful. All right, let's see how this goes. That's not a bad opener. We can actually drop the enemy to the ground with that opener. Hell yes. All right, I'm going to Stasis Engine, then Prismatic Beam. I'll take my five damage to you, but then full defend afterwards. I guess I just full defend this turn as well. When do I actually attack, though? Well, this seems like the right time. Yeah, it definitely seems like the right time there. Beautiful. Oh, I just need to work some more shivs into this deck as well, and then, then everything's going exactly how I want it. Another wee trip. Throw in the prismatic beam. That's already turned me into defensive mode, so we go mad defensive from here on out. Should have left a little more time to be attacking, though. Could have ordered that one definitely better. Guardian's down though, so very little I can do to care about it. Add three quests to quest log. Three birds, one nemesis, and three cultists. Those are all available still. Uh, compile package pre-upgraded, wild. There's also gem, gain one artifact, lose one HP. Always really interesting. I mean, if I put Onyx into Stasis Field, then I'd have that once every two turns. I kind of have to take the Onyx there. Snecker, why? We don't have any high cost cards in the deck. It's a really bad idea to take. I think we do take the Coffee Tripper, though. Having the extra energy is going to give me the ability to play every single one of my cards in my hand, get a little bit of value out of those. Should be pretty integral. Uh, how much direct draw is there for this character? Not that much, right? That's going to be a wee bit of a problem for us. It's probably the next problem we really need to overcome. I'm going to polybeam for less damage here so that I can prismatic barrier and curl up. And that was definitely unnecessary. Hell yes. I was worried it might prove to actually be useful, but no, thankfully, it was exactly as bad as I suspected it was. Should be able to kill this though with a reasonable draw. Yeah, that'll do it. Adios, Shell Parasite. Hello to Roll Attack, Recover, or Walk. No. Very colorful shop. Remove a card and upgrade a random card. That's pretty good. Yeah. Remove a strike here or a defend. Maybe a defend. That Prismatic Beam is real defensive right now. And it just upgraded the strike. Eh. It happens. Alright. This time we'll start with the Prismatic Beam. Then the Poly Beam. Finally Curl Up and Onyx. Get to keep all my strength out of that. Lovely to know. Really would have liked to kill an enemy by now. I'm very much hoping they don't just all run away with my money. Kind of need that for myself. All 
All right. I killed the backliner there because I had a very high damage card and I felt like I might not have a high damage card later to kill that backliner with. I suspect I might have made the right decision there. Rewrote uh, evasive protocol and sentry beam. No, thank you. Preserved insect. Enemies in elite combats have 25% less HP as well as focusing shard for each axe you climb. Upgraded random card at the start of combat. That was also apparently a thing that I needed to pick up for a quest. Beautiful. Let's go to the shop. Not like we weren't already going to be going to this shop. Onyx goes into the stasis field, so I get it once every two turns. Eventually, at least. Uh, let's upgrade the stasis. <sighs> really? It's such a small deck. I would rest here if I had the opportunity to. Let's upgrade to defend, I guess. There's a prismatic barrier. It's just I don't have the, the gems for it. This deck does live and die entirely by whether or not it finds the gems for that, though, so... May as well leap in. Let's take the immediate value options there. Gremlin Horn. Whenever an enemy dies, gain an energy and draw a card, as well as a tiny chest. Upon pickup, gain 30 gold, and you are 10% more, more likely to find treasure in question mark rooms. So I do have to fight an elite as we go towards the end here. That is to say, end of this war. So being able to generate that one artifact could give us the permanent steroid potion, which is obviously really good here. Not even going to play those crystal wards. Would like to have them later. Ooh, look at me keeping my extra two strength. Good lord, it looks like it will actually be impactful. Might save us a full turn. Nope, never mind. With Prismatic Beam, we were going to kill from full HP there anyway. Uh, defensive mode on defensive mode. That goes on to the curl up with the upgrade right now. But adding a ward into our hand is also really good for the stasis. I want the ward. I do. I want the ward. I want the wards and I want the shivs and I want all of it. It's going to be so good. It's going to be such a good goddamn time to burn all these crystal wards out before the Sneko Snekos them. We draw them and they're all super high cost. Right. Reasonable draw from here on out. We're fine. That's a reasonable draw. Could have done it in better order, though. It's entirely my bad. All right. Well, the stasis field, but there's the prismatic beam for only one. I mean, come on. They're just looking for lethal that right. Aquamarine does the exact same thing we were just asking about. Beautiful. So let's put two Aquamarine in the twin slam here, I think. I guess I smith the stasis engine. There's nothing else I can really do to the deck at this point. Couldn't dodge that elite. Otherwise, I'd have to go to the Nightmare. The Nightmare would kill me, I believe. Okay, I'll use the block potion here to save myself 10 HP, as well as the wound that would go into my deck. That's pretty damn good block right there. I mean, come and get it, Book of Stabbing. I'm suddenly incredibly surprised by how well this deck is doing. Guess it finally came together. All right. Uh, Pantograph, another 145. Sweet. We'll take none of those, though. I was very much hoping for a shop of some kind here. It'd be nice to get Artifact to prevent the vulnerability coming out from the Fungi Beast, but I suspect that's not going to occur. Mm -hmm. 
Because I can full defend this turn, right? That's all I was trying to figure out that entire time. Whether or not I had the ability to do all of that and then still full defend thereafter. Turns out, yeah. Pretty easily, in fact. Over defended, if anything. Ancient potion. Ooh, quartz attached. Quartz attached is good for a lot of stuff. All right, let's drop the weakness, take the ancient potion there. Enhance to drop the quartz into probably a prismatic barrier, which I'm probably just going to want three quartzes in. And then I'll recall, there is now nothing I can actually do in campfires as well, by the way. At the very least, we have the 25 healing coming in here. All right, I'm going to ancient potion, then steroid potion, because otherwise this combat is going to be absolute hell. Clearly didn't actually need to use that artifact potion, so I should have just played out the turn. Oh well. I guess I twin slam before I polybeam, just so that I don't multiple times over hit a same target. Unless they're the right target to be hitting multiple times over. I guess I just keep myself in this curl up for a while. I'll be dealing less damage, but at the very least, since I play as many cards as I do, I'll be still dealing a pretty substantial amount, but also just not taking much back. That's good with me. I mean, you can hardly argue with these results. Beautiful. Three quests of the quest log. We get large spike slimes, dream catcher, and recover. Exploit gems pre-upgraded. Come on. What are you going to do with this deck? Uh, whenever you die, heal to 50% of your max HP works once. I think we just take the runic pyramid. Problem is, like, deck trashing effects are now very problematic for us, but it's the best option we had available there. Still think I kind of want the power of an extra boss relic on my side. Hell yeah. So Stasis Engine also gives you an extra energy. I did not see that. For some reason, I was always just reading it as draw a card. It's much better in this way, I'll say that much. It's much better when you actually read the text, as it turns out. All right, old walker. Throw everything at me so that I can just wait until I get the prismatic beam and then love. Emerald. I still do need to socket things in all of my other cards, but I do feel bad about taking an Emerald. I'm going to pass that. It's just not good enough. You know, I'd actually really super dig... The ability to... What was it? Nope. Single Citrine, though, I'd be fine with. I knew what I wanted to say in my head. I just forgot it very quickly. Oh, God. Fine. Prismatic Barrier. Uh, prismatic Beam. Exploit. Poly. And then... Yeah, that's exactly what I was worried about overall. Didn't want to play just a giant multi-hit, but if it has to be, it has to be. Oh, 
god, still ended up taking damage as well. Fragmented gem, adds a shift to your hand. Beautiful, exactly the thing we're looking for. This is exactly the combat we are not looking for, though. Make the enemy absolutely as vulnerable as can be. Yeah, I can just hold these zero costs for a later turn if I'm not going to be actually taking any advantage of them here. It's perfect. Throw the twin slam out as well. Hell, maybe even a polybeam. And that's going to be a curse for my deck at this rate as well. Lovely. Thank you. Shouldn't have thrown the polybeam. I knew it. Knew I shouldn't have thrown the polybeam. Well, it happens. So I do kind of want to start with the, the lowest multiple attacks first. Then go up from there. That'll all work out in the end. As long as the enemy isn't trying to give me another parasite, although I believe they can only give you one. Goodbye, Writhing Mass. Hello, Dex Potion. It's fine. Ancient Power. I'm worried that maybe I just want to take that just for the plus one Dex that it gives us because we have a bunch of things that are three block multiple times. So I'm worried that I turned down one of those earlier that I might have wanted to take. Well, can't really lament it for too long before I'm making a different mistake. Spending far too long of the time criticizing myself for that one thing. I'm getting less done. Good draw on that twin slam actually be able to full defend this turn. Unfortunately, we didn't get any of our artifacts before the enemy hit us with the Constriction. And in the deck this thin, that's not likely. Just happened that way. Play a single Crystal Ward, play no more because I can leave them all in my hand for later. Swift Potion, as well as another Stasis Field. Don't really want that. Let's go shopping. Ruby. Uh, Stardust Combo with one Dex is really good. So is the Ruby. Membership card is probably not going to be super impactful here, right? The Ruby, I would have saved 11. The... All these Spoon Stone, I would have saved like 60, so 70. And then I would have saved like another... Another 60.25 here. So yeah, I wouldn't have even saved enough to justify the purchase of the membership card. Having blind in the deck to apply weak to all enemies is really powerful though. So we'll take that and we'll take the card removal. Uh, definitely the parasite, right? Nothing else here. Seems correct. I also want that extra point of strength or the extra points of decks. Like those are actually really impactful. If I take the decks, I suspect that in the final combat, I won't be able to be killed. So as long as I get to the final combat, I think I win. Put a shiv. Probably in the makeshift barrier here. And momentary strength also in that same prismatic barrier. So if I go and fight this... The... The, 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 the nightmare. Then I can avoid elites from here on out. But otherwise I have to fight two elites. So, Nemesis, Nemesis at the very least gives us a relic if we do beat it, as well as the relic that it drops naturally. I think I can beat them. I think I can beat the normal bosses. Uh, Madness, Good Instincts, and Forethought. Well, Madness makes another card zero cost and is a zero cost card, so it's really good for our stasis engine cycling. Uh, 
I mean, like, it's okay. The worst opening turn I've had. Trip stasis. And I don't need to be in defensive form or anything like that. It's my extra shiv. Line, defend, and polybeam for 60. I mean, it's fine. It's just not big and impactful. Mana sit construction form. Don't actually want to play that. It's probably the only card in my hand that I desperately don't want to play. All right. There's a polybeam for 25 after 14 cards played. God, a garbage polybeam right there. Exploit gems for the double draw. Get the extra trip off. It's going to be defend, twin slam, throw out both of those, and then go for the giant prismatic beam. 100% not needed because only two of the hits went through. Bag of Mumbles. At the start of each combat, apply one vulnerable to all enemies and another prismatic barrier. Just give me gems, game, please. Cryo Chamber. Whenever a card enters stasis, upgrade it. We'll take the Sapphire Key there. We're not capable of getting the Emerald Key at this point anyway, so... Best forget about that instantly. Okay, I think I'm going to get through this without taking any damage. Not half bad. This stasis field deck is a lot better than I was initially giving it credit for. I have to say that. Absolutely do have to say that. Guess I'll just keep myself curled up forever. I can't guarantee these enemies are ever going to slow down. I think also in the past, I've been too afraid about attacking while in defensive mode. Just thinking, well, I can't do maximum damage while I'm in defensive mode. So I guess it's not worth it at all, which is obviously poor reasoning. But I suspect is exactly how I was thinking if I get down to it. Quartz, lovely. Uh, let's go for the rare relic, I guess. <sighs> At the very least, we get to retain cards in hand here, which is going to make this fight a lot better for us than it otherwise might be. Stasis engine again. Oh, you know it. No, that's what I'm looking for. If I got another stasis engine in this deck, I wonder if I would already be infiniting. Because, God, it definitely feels like it right now. Uh, 100 gold as well as the stone calendar. At the end of turn 7, deal 52 damage to all enemies. Take another ruby. Literally, I'm just padding out my stuff right now, so I'll take... Pretty much any gem you offer me. Yeah. Maybe you'll go in this one, I guess. Damn it. Yeah, I never had time to fill out the extra prismatic barrier at the end there. I definitely shouldn't have taken it. Definitely should not have taken that. Should have thrown out the strike first there as well. I was suspecting I was originally going to end up throwing out cool out, uh, cool up, curl up. There we go. I decided not to pretty quickly after I realized I didn't actually have to that turn. So I can just save it for a turn like this one where the enemy is getting much more aggressive than I am necessarily comfortable with. Trip him, shiv him, polybeam him. Prismatic for the end. Here's our extra relic as well. Ooh, shuriken. Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. 
Oh, hell, that's good for us. Take an Onyx as well. Get another Relic. Frozen Egg. When we get a power card to your deck, upgrade it. Okay, that's not super relevant for us. Uh, let's put this in. Exploit Gems and drink all of these stats. If we can trigger that Shuriken a couple of times, my good giddy god. I don't actually want to Stasis Engine right now. Sorry, Stasis Engine. I don't want a Madness right now. It's very important to me that it hits something actually worthwhile. Okay. Not half bad. As long as I get points of strength while I'm doing it, it's totally worth it to me. Just an absolute 100%. Flip. Even another prismatic barrier. Why not? Come on and get me another attack at the very least game. Beautiful. That extra attack gets us the increment on the shuriken. Next turn we get six cards drawn, but also get the stasis field back into hand. So I have space for all of those. Being incredibly defensive this turn is incredibly important. It's a lot of damage trying to come in. I kind of want to leave the summons to the stone calendar at this point. There's also, it looks like two repulses stacked atop one another right there. And they both definitely just put effects in my deck. It's just a little bit very mean. Yeah, I can't... There's three repulses stacked atop one another right there. I actually can't draw any cards here. Because they're putting six extra days into my deck every turn. Well, not every turn. Sometimes they attack. Well, at the very least, we killed them there. Generated a whole new deck and drew into a card that I desperately want to be able to use. At the very least, we do retain it. So we do have that going for us. I mean, Massive Shades is actually going really well here. Those Crystal Wards left in the hand, just drawing back into some aggressive cards will be us done. Fine. Prismatic Barrier. Double drop these Crystal Wards just for the possibility of draw. And that'll do it. Good lord. So the Stasis Engine deck with the... With the Shivs and the... What are they called? They're not called sh uh, Wards. The Shivs and the Wards that we haven't been able to take advantage of recently because of the Velvet Choker starts turned out absolutely incredible for us. That is the kind of run that I wanted the entire time while I had those Velvet Chokers. Good to finally get it done, though. For the moment, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slay This By. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.